Yo guys, what's going on? It's your boy Soren here today. We're finally back with more tutorials, finished up school, and now we're ready to get back started. But uh, first off, I just want to start with a short little uh, how-to, I guess. Some people, actually quite a few people are asking me how to use my preset packs and things like that. So uh, just so you guys know, this is uh, my first time doing stuff like this. So if there's things that you want me to change or think I should improve upon, make sure you let me know down in the comment section below. And I'll make sure to get that incorporated into uh, my future packs. But starting off, uh, if you downloaded something from my selfie, just quick shout out to my selfie. Everything's free. The link for it is in the description. But, you know, you come here and get stuff for free if you want. But uh, say you downloaded my editing pack or the transitions and things like that, and you want to start using them. So first off, if you don't know how to put them into your After Effects, what you do is after you download the pack, uh, you know, you extract the files and all that. And you're going to take, you're going to go on to uh, your little uh, file explorer here. And then you're going to go into your PC go down to let's see I take that back there's two different ways you can do this uh, I normally go into documents and then go Adobe After Effects and then user presets and you can click and uh, just drag and drop them into here or the other way you can do it is if you go into your PC go into your let's see your program files and then After Effects uh, app AE support files and then you can go into presets and then uh, create a folder and put them into there. I got a couple things here just uh, so you can see that. But further, without further ado, once you have those done, you're going to go into After Effects. And if you type in something here, so I type in SRN, my presets come up. If for some reason you just put the presets in there and they're not showing up, go ahead and click this little drop down here and hit refresh list. And it will update uh, from the files on your computer. But now we're getting into what we really need to see is a lot. Some people ask me how to use the transitions because a lot of people like to put them on adjustment layers and have them do that. But that's not the way my presets are working. They're using the actual uh, like scale and different properties inside of the layer instead of on the transition effect. So I went ahead and got some pictures here to use as clips. I don't know who this is. It's some random person I just found on the internet. But nonetheless. What you're going to do is sync your clips. So if you had a song here, you just sync the clips normally without transitions. Just have the clip switching and have that done. But then once you have that part completed, you're going to uh, make a new composition and take that syncing composition that you just made and drag it into here. So now it's all one composition that has both clips in it. So you're going to take one of the transitions let's see here and you're going to drop it directly on to the clip so let's just take this pump right here I'm gonna click and drag it onto the clip and now if I hit you it'll bring up all the keyframes so now you can see there's the scale keyframe here that uh, acts as a pump and so now that's on the clip itself uh, I can take like a, a rotate as well drag that on there and then now we'll have both like that so if I give it a small little RAM preview you'll see what's going on and that's uh, definitely how to use the uh, the transition presets that I've made you just click and drag them right onto it actually all of my presets I made even for the effects and things like that have are made so they can just drop them onto compositions themselves and you won't have to make adjustment layers or put them on multiple layers and things like that. So if I take um, something else, let's see here. One thing I actually use a lot is the earthquake. I use that a lot on my uh, on my edits. So what I did there again, I just dragged and dropped it right onto the clip itself, and then now you have all these different uh, controls and stuff you can play around with. So I can make it uh, just kind of jump around here. Uh, you know, I can keyframe it up keyframe it down things like that one thing to note uh, when I made all these presets on this first pack uh, I I'll definitely take credit for it. I didn't mess up on it so what happened is I normally for vine I edit in a square which means that my motion tile sets were all set to uh, the dimensions of a square but all you have to do to fix that is simply go up here to that tile center and make sure that your x value is half of your width so mine is a 1920 so half of that is 960 
and then uh, my height is in 1080 and half that is 540 so you know if you're editing in like 720p that would be uh, 640 by 360 that you're gonna have to set these values to uh, you can just do that with simple math I figured out a way to change that for my next uh, for my next pack for my next next preset pack so don't worry that'll be fixed for that but uh, that's just one quick fix that I think I noted in the pack as well but nonetheless guys if you're having any more trouble with these packs please let me know down in the comments your feedback is absolutely crucial uh, you guys have been really good about the constructive criticism it's something I really appreciate a lot but uh, nonetheless guys make sure you like the video if you enjoyed let me know anything else you want to see in the comments down below and I've been Sarn and I'm out thank you